couple months ago, we got the news that uh, the license uh, for the NFL teams um, and for baseball teams, as a matter of fact, the license for baseball, basketball, yeah. and and football were all bought out from under the people who are putting out cards right now, a.k.a. Tops, Panini, um, Upper Deck. Upper Deck. Hmm. So we kind of were all worried. We were like, what's going to happen? And we found out that fanatics had bought the license. And uh, the biggest story about it all was the facts that tops uh, had lost their license when they were right getting ready to renew. And it was just like this big weird thing. And they just pulled the carpet out from them. Well, we were all worried and especially us uh, baseball card fans, because tops is the baseball card. I never want to be around and there not be a tops baseball card. It's just, it's like American pie, Superman, or I'm sorry, apple pie, Superman, uh, you know, it's it's Americana tops baseball cards. So we were all kind of worried what's going to happen. Well, it just got announced that not only did tops lose the license, but now they're selling to fanatics. So that's actually kind of good. I, I think it's it, it, it'll continue the tops brand, the tops name. And uh, it was sold for what, five hundred million dollars, which is really sad because I think we all know that tops is worth more than $500 million. But when you're in a corner like that and you don't have the licenses anymore, it's very easy. To just be like, screw it. Let's just sell it. Yeah. And good on them. I'm they glad tops did 560 it. million in revenue in last year alone. Yes, exactly. Exactly. It's crazy. It's bonkers. Yeah. So I mean anyways, it's it's a good thing in my opinion we're gonna get the tops brand it's gonna continue we still don't know what's gonna happen with football cards and basketball <laughs> cards because of panini yeah. panini uh i think it's what till 2025 i know the tops like like 26 went... or something like that 25 okay. 26 so we're gonna get a couple more years but fanatics is just going out there and buying up everything like they are becoming the monopoly of sports uh they own teams they own every um anytime you apparel? buy any type of apparel on for any any sport of the big four it's going it's from fanatics yeah. um they're in Lids. yeah they're in with in bed with all the with all the um the brands the sports they are just buying it all up they own stock x um, it's just, it's absolutely crazy what the Fanatics guy yeah, is doing. If you buy anything from a team's website, it's coming from Fanatics. If you buy yes. from MLB.com, NFL.com, NHL, it's coming from Fanatics. And they sell their own, they sell memorabilia already. I mean, I, I, I don't know if a lot of people under, realized how big Fanatics already was. And some of them think they came out of left field, but they're huge. And I, I agree with you. It, it looks like reading the tea leaves if they're smart it'll just we won't notice much it's just it's owned by fanatics um they just better not mess with my garbage pail kids <laughs> i'm with you bro i'm with you mitch says uh, fanatics is one of the most fascinating business stories of all time i don't find that they get enough credit for when they started and what they've done now tell me correct me if i'm wrong Excuse me. The guy who owns Fanatics, who started Fanatics, now owns the 76ers and, and the Eagles or just the 76ers? Someone from Philadelphia? I, yeah. yeah, I don't know. Because he was the guy that had Meek Mill hanging out with him all the time, him and Robert Kraft. All, uh, uh, that, the guy who owns Fanatics is what brought who brought me you know introduced meek mill to robert Kraft, and you saw them together all the time and he's all about prison reform which is cool which you know i don't i think everybody out there is understands that you know the prison system needs to be reformed um and you know but he's got a lot of money man the dude is just killing it right now he's like the you know the bezos of of sports it's unbelievable so I, it's kind of it's kind of rough when a guy owns a team too and now he sells everything so I don't know. It might be interesting to see where that goes, but at least we're going to get, uh, we're going to get um, cards, Jeff tops Ford. cards to continue. Um, <clears throat> Ryan, I know you're a sports fan. Do you, do you dabble in cards? I'm, 
a little bit or when you were a kid? I know we've had some conversations about cards here and there and, and private messages and stuff, but yeah. So I've, I've, I used to have, a, I have a lot of football cards primarily and some basketball cards. Most of my stuff is like dates back. In fact, I stopped by a, a card shop recently just to see kind of what was going on and what the, you know, what, what, you know, what's going on in that, in that, uh, in that arena. And I thought it was unbelievably crazy to hear that it costs two hundred dollars or so to grade a card from PSA, which is I guess their staple in grading. And that's what the guy told me at the shop. He's like two hundred bucks. It's like a year and a half wait or so to get get, get cards there and back because of how backed up they are. I said it's got flooded with 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 uh, grading submissions, and that's why they jacked the prices up, which probably brings up some a little bit later. But um, I, I I have all those cards, like upper deck. Uh, you know, my collection is back from like when Favre was around, Favre rookies. I think I have, I might even have some, uh, some uh, Brady rookies by accident. Um, and then I recently picked up a few basketball cards. What is that? It's oh, like garbage, the, garbage pail kid. The tops now said so this was the Buster Posey retirement and I actually struck it and got one of the one in 25s when they sent it out. So, huh. And so I was thinking about, you know, breaking it there. I guess the, the thing that they do now is they just buy a big case. Like, well, I could never even think about when I was younger was buying a whole box of, of cards and opening the packs all up, which sounds amazingly fun. I'd love to do that probably. But when they told me like a box, like $500 for a box in hopes that you might get a card that's $2,000 in it or something like that. Yeah, I, like, I remember wow. when I was a kid, and my, my neighbor, you know, in his 40s and my older brother, they – my neighbor had a career. My older brother worked. I wasn't old enough to work yet. I was like, you know, lemonade stands and cutting lawns. Went to a card show. I was all excited about my one box of 1990 Donruss baseball. Remember the red border with the black yeah. speckles? And we all get back to go down and I'm done opening it. And I'm just sitting there watching my neighbor open like all these hobby boxes or boxes of cards and sets and everything. And my brother opened stuff. And I was like, I got a Todd Zeal rookie. <laughs> yeah. See, I can't, my, my, uh, my father-in-law recently came across like all these old, old cards that were like, those in, are fifties. Yeah. 52, yeah, they 54. Were, they were in, he had found them in a, in an old house that was abandoned. And then so and back when he was, out hunting somewhere and so then he grabbed he just picked them all up and held on to them and then this is about 20 20 years or 30 years ago so like i have all these cards and that and i don't and i need to go through them and kind of and you know clean up in fact i was trying to look and see if is there is it can you press cards can you no. like pressing stuff like that i didn't know if there was so no but uh i yeah so i had like these two long like two long boxes full of stuff that i need to go through there just baseball i know nothing about baseball cards so i thought you, you could press cards no you can't press cards you can trim them <laughs> you can trim them but you're getting caught yeah <laughs> yeah so i'm interested to in see what's what it, what's going on with all these but there's some talk i just <laughs> I, was, I was just telling the guys before the show i literally just got done buying a huge collection uh uh from my LCS of cards. And I probably have, I don't know, there's probably 50, or sorry, there's 27 or 28 uh, monster boxes just full of cards I'm going through. Half of them I'm going to end up throwing away, but the other half I'll be able to sell. And I'm just going to go on whatnot and just sell all these cards. You know, old, old school nostalgia stuff is all it is. Larry Johnson rookies, Shaquille O'Neal rookies. Yanni Bonds rookies. Bonds rookies, yeah. There's Bonds rookies in there. There's, there's. Uh, I found eight uh, Ozzy Smith rookies. I found Andre Dawson. You know what I mean? They're not in, in you know, PSA ten or gradable tens. But if you know somebody wants an Andre Dawson rookie, throw it up on whatnot. You know, five, ten bucks, whatever it is. Boom. Yeah, that I was hit playing. nostalgia. You know what? Also, when you think about it, as I was playing, as I just started playing the NBA 2K, and they have like an All Stars like uh, teams where you can play. All stars from the Rockets and all stars from the and, it's, and you could play like Moses Malone and you could play like all these uh, greats from back in the day. And I was like, man, I wonder if I have any of their cards still. So it started kind of making me think like if I have any of that stuff laying around. I haven't played many basketball. I think Bulls versus Blazers. <laughs> NBA Jam, baby. <laughs> With Hardaway and the UTEP two step. <laughs> yeah. See, I, I think got all these. this. All this talk about cards has me kind of getting nostalgic for it. Dude, that's um, a Hank Aaron, bro. That's dude, that's probably like a $300 card, bro. 
But I don't know if it is. I don't know. I got. No, I can tell you right now. At, there was like a reprint set. Is it a reprint set? Those yeah, aren't reprints, bro. Hold on. Look yeah, over on are... the back. You, Wait. Look, look. Turn around. The one is the one. I don't think is a reprint. Are they? Tr- yeah, that's a reprint. Yeah, that's a reprint. Go. To, what about the other one? But the yeah, snow was like a. Yeah, those are reprints. Yeah. Yeah. So like those fast stuff. It's like a lot of different. I have no. I had. I need someone that knows what's going on, so they can't help me diagnose these things. But yeah, yeah. Because I think he sent me those one night late. I was like, holy yeah. shit! I, was like, totally <laughs> yeah. I know. I about shit yeah. myself. I'm like, dude, that's a Hank Aaron fucking rookie card. What you- He's got boogers on his hand. He's like, I got these Hank Aaron rookies. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're they are. I mean, they're rougher, but they're you got not, baby yeah. snot. Yeah, <laughs> have my kids playing with them. I could both. I mean, all this talk about cards has me nostalgic for cards again. I grew up, you know, mowing somebody's lawn. Here's ten, fifteen dollars, running totally. on my bike up to the, up to the LCS. And we had back in the day a specific in the late eighties, early nineties. They had specific card shops back then where I grew up, separate from LCSs. And this one was like the second floor on top of a coffee coffee shop. You went up the stairs. All this guy specialized in was in sports cards and comic cards and magic cards. That was it. That's all he had. And I would go there and I would spend all my lawn mowing money on packs. And my friends and I would crack packs on the front porch of the house looking for our favorite players. That has me, re- all this news has me really nostalgic and getting back to that. But in the same fashion, I'm like, where am I going to put everything? What am I going to yeah. do with it when I'm done cracking the packs? Although card collecting is a lot more condensed than comic book collecting. I'll say that much. Yeah. Yeah. I, I had even so those crazy, I don't know if you remember with football, they had those. Big long game day cards. Yeah, oh, and after yeah. those would be unique. And the ones. McDonald's like, sheets. Mm. Yeah, the big the McDonald's sheets. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. well, yeah. You've, we've talked about it plenty of times. That that sheet of Miami cards with Dwayne and more uh, um, Russell Ray Lewis, it? Ray Lewis, and who Sapp. was the other? Warren Sapp. Thank you. Yeah, Sapp. yeah that whole <laughs> sheet, but even just the. Cards perforated itself for great money, but um, a uh, the a rock one just recently sold for like three hundred ninety nine dollars raw. It's nuts. But it's yeah. crazy because I have like a Jerry Rice rookie, and it's not even worth that much though. It's yes, like... it is. Jerry Rice rookie is worth a lot, dude. In a PSA eight, it sells for like three to hundred. In a PSA ten, it sells for like eighty thousand. Yeah, what? I have one yeah. and a piece of glass I've had forever. Yeah, dude, That's if it's why. in high grade, dude, you should take a look at it. You should, if it's centered well and it's got sharp corners, you get that oh. sucker graded. That's worth paying $150 to get graded. If it looks like it's a 9 or a 10, that's worth getting graded. Yeah, Barry Back Sanders, in the day when we had those screw Barry. cases. Yeah, That's what I have things. it in. I have it in a screw case. Yeah. Barry Sanders, Joe Montana, and Jerry Rice were the three that I collected heavily as a kid, and I wish I would have kept all of those. Yeah. And Alonzo Morning, of all things, uh, Lonzo, I used to collect Alonzo Morning rookie cards just like fanatically. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah, I, I found a bunch yeah. of Alonzo like mornings. Thirty of those Flare Ultra Morning rookies. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. I collected. I collected Falcons. Uh, like like I do with Venom. Like I collected every single one of them, including like Favre and whatnot. So I just have like like all the Falcon players and Dion and then Andre yeah. and Favre. Yeah. yeah, I found a I found a bunch of Andre Risens, Dion Sanders today. Oh really? So, yeah. Yeah. I found. Uh, you no. Know. Let me know. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna do it. I'm, I'm McClay. I'm seriously gonna do it. I'm gonna message you in the next couple of weeks, and like maybe you can help steer me towards a sealed box that's quote unquote affordable in my budget that I can crack just for nostalgia purposes on a YouTube show. Oh yeah, just to just Back to it's relive. Site that. Always has like those weekly articles of cracking cheap wax. They call it. Or yeah, let's do it together, Andy. I'll get. I'll get one too. Yeah, I oh, just yeah. like like not not tens of thousands of dollars, but I'd put a yeah. little bit of money into yeah. something for a chase of maybe you know like some people are chasing. I heard a lot of people are still buying um, expensive boxes to chase uh, the Michael Jordan rookie cards. Yeah, well that's, that's old like boxes eighty thousand yeah. dollars. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I ain't got that kind of money, yeah. but I would definitely love to chase some other stuff. Um, people right now are buying. Uh, so the newer stuff that's coming out right now is fun to open. I'll admit that. Like it's it's impossible to get, but it's freaking fun to open. The tough part with that is a lot of us that haven't stayed in the loop, we have no idea who any of these people are, and I could be throwing away a five hundred dollar card. Yeah, but that's what you do it on YouTube, and I didn't realize I had that Saquon Barkley uh 
Auto. Auto, because I looked at the back thinking it was the front, and it was like the first time I bought cards in years. Yeah. But yeah, that's man. That's part. but that's the fun part. I just bought um a bunch of Bowman. They just bought they just put out Bowman draft baseball. And you know, I've been looking for that like crazy. And I was like, I'm not I'm not gonna pay thirty five hundred dollars for a case of it. So they had these hobby light box, which are like ninety bucks a pop. So I just went and bought three of those. And I'm gonna just have fun opening them. You know what I mean? Just enjoy man, opening. Yeah, and Ryan's boy. in the chat, him and I have been debating back and forth. 21 22 uh soccer or football <laughs> cards are, are hitting are hitting now and we've been debating picking up boxes of those but hell yeah mm -hmm. oh man i'm definitely gonna yeah i'm gonna have to join you on that one man. yes it's a tough i'm one, yeah. we we should maybe t we should make a comic make a comic news weekly episode and just a box break for everyone one oh, yeah. we'll do a one-off yeah. hell yeah awesome. real quick before we go into the next topic do you see mcclay if Fanatics is doing this with tops, do you see possible a chance of Fanatics adding to that? And do, could there be an acquisition of Panini? I don't, I don't see that'd be smart. Panini it, upper deck, or it would be smart of them to go, Hey, just sell us the rights to your design, yeah. right? Because that's all they're buying, they're just buying the rights to the design. That way, they don't have to design their own new stuff because that's what's been great over the last like. I didn't like the Panini cards when I first started buying them a couple of years ago because I was always a tops or, or a upper deck football guy, you know, SP authentic, uh, SPX, um, tops, That's Bowman. You're youth and, again. You don't yes. like new stuff. That's yep. what got me out of cards. It went from tops, Fleer, Donruss, and score to 16. Panini. Different All different types. Stadium yeah. Club. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just to Panini though, and then it only went to Panini, and then Panini started putting out five, ten different sets, right? Um, but I got into them, man. I, I started liking them. I I, I like the how they feel. They're they're great. They're they're sturdy. They they look beautiful when they got the re reflection and the shine on. Them. If you have a refractor or a prism, they just look cool. I mean, there's yeah. really cool Fractice. ones. That, Yes, they're just beautiful, man. And that's what I like about them. So I hopefully they'll stay that way. And I think it would be smart uh, for Panini to do that. But Panini, I don't know what's going to go on. Like, what's going to happen to them? What are they going to What are they going to do? Because guess guess what's also Fanatics also acquired? Uh, UEFA, Bundesliga, yeah. and NF1. So there's not going to, you know what I mean? Like, none of that stuff. It's all going to Fanatics. Yeah. Was it Collector's Edge? They used to make a, a card that has a little bit of rubber in it or something. It was yeah. like a little bit. It would. It would. It, it, would, it, it was more flexible. It. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like plastic. Yeah, that's cool. Nothing Dang. as great as sports flicks. I'm pulling this out. I'm pulling all those out right as soon as we get done with this. <laughs> <laughs> all right.